Hey guys, welcome. Sorry to Barefoot Gypsy, how are you today? I'm fabulous. Doing really good today. Hang on a second, please. How has everyone been? Fabulous, I hope. <laughs> um, I don't know. Opened my eyes today and... Um, pretty good let me see oh yeah that feels nice oh no I'm being silly whatever it's whatever um <laughs> why is it I pick up on so much and then the minute this motherfuckers on whoosh, blank you know it's crazy um but anywho, so many messages. Nothing's coming through. I might as well do your hand mudra while I'm here. And anyway, it's so nice outside. And I want to go sit out there so bad. I might have to be here in a minute. Oh, I got to go to the store. You know. Maybe the theme right now is change in direction. Maybe you had awesome, um, what, what were you saying? Well-made plans. You're like, my ships are finally coming in. Yay. I'm getting everything I wanted and even more. Even better than I thought. And then guess what? Nope, not today. No, no, no. You're not being punished. You know what you put out. Who you are. What your goals, your plans. I, I just heard what God has in store for you. But. Maybe it's something even better. So that thing that changed, I got to get a drink of water. Excuse me. <sighs> so thirsty. So. And we were so ecstatic and happy for that. Thank you. And then whoosh, you got let down. But you've been on this path and this journey for so long now that. I'm hearing unfazed. Well, it did bother you for a second, right? For a little bit. Yeah, I'm hearing you had to find your way, finding your way back home. Thank you, God. That was great. Finding your way back home to yourself. What is this one? Ah. Uh, that's funny. I was doing this the other day and I had no idea um, what hand mudra it was. Self-esteem. Can you see that? Let me put on my spectacles. Do you see? Damn it. There. Self-esteem mudra. I like that. Underneath there it says, I am true to my, this is number 66. I need to keep this out for the Instagrams and the fake books. Um, being in, on this journey, right? On this path of, thank you, I heard self-discovery. Um, breaking out of the matrix, right? The, the game. I heard go player one. <laughs> um, 
waking up to the, the God that's in you and realizing that when you, when you, <clears throat> speaking of games, so it's, this is how they show it to me. I don't, I'm not, I don't even, I'm not a game player. I don't play video games. Um, um, waking up, it's like finishing the game, like beating the game, right? Top tier, top level. Um, reaching that point, AKA, you know, coming home to yourself, who you are, the realization of, of who and what you are. Um, and being in the divine oneness consciousness of, of all, right? Beating the level. And when you get to that top tier, you know, um, I'm hurt. Thank you. I heard like Christ consciousness. When you get to that top level, then <laughs> the world is your empire. Um, then you write your game, right? You control where you go, what you do. You write your own story. Um, I heard end game. So I don't know what happens to the souls that don't go. Um, that don't ascend, but I don't want to know either. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to break on through to the other side. Thank you, doors. The doors. Some of you, thank you, I'm hearing have admirers you don't even know about. Some of you have changed lives, have given inspiration, um, and you have no idea that because you walked into or somebody walked into your life, either way, you guys met at some point. Maybe <clears throat> you probably don't even know each other that well. And you... I'm getting, you know, you don't even know where that person is or these people are. But you, and I just keep getting, you have inspired, I just heard many, um, to make a change. Who are you when I'm not looking? So see, you weren't looking, you weren't paying attention, You're so wrapped up in your own life. And in your own growth and, and expansion, that I'm getting like people watch you. They watch what you do, your every move in a sense. I'm getting a lot of feelings. I'm hearing healer of the ages. You know your path. When you had your spiritual awakening, one of them, well, what just came through is like, this is what came through. And remember, th these are always my own opinions, what I'm growing through, what I've grown through, still growing. <laughs> Ever, ever growing, ever, ever the student. Um, I just got a message. Sorry, I this uh, threw me off for a sec. Um, ever growing. I'm sorry, I lost it. I should have paid attention to that message. <clears throat> um. Maybe that's all we have to say about that. I doubt it. I mean, come on. 
It's got to be more. That was something good I was going to say. Oh, yeah. People have watched your struggles. <clears throat> have seen you overcome these obstacles. I heard keep going. Soon, right? There's a freaking word soon. Soon? What does soon mean? Ten years? Five years? Five minutes? What? 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 Divine timing, they say. Bow down. Um, if it hasn't Killed you yet, you know, and just put a K in front of that. And how strong are you right now? Even though you don't see it in yourself. How could you not? I know, I just heard because you expect so much more out of yourself. Do you expect things from other people? Why do you expect so much from yourself? You know, the... The bar, the standard, the this, the that, that you had put on yourself your whole life. You've always been in competition with yourself. Who do you think you are? Jesus? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. You're a superwoman. You're Superman. Till you're not. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> you mean I'm in a human and, and, it, and it will break? And it will, uh, you know, cease to do things? It gets sick? It does that. I thought I could do everything and, and, and even more things. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Don't get so busy, busy work, preoccupying your mind so you don't have to deal with life and the things that are coming up. If we're always busy and distracted, how can we hear that inner still voice that's talking to us? You know, God creator, speaking to our higher self. Delivering these messages to us. You can't hear that if you're distracted. You know, everybody's got a 30 second attention span now. Because these fucking shorts and these TikToks. I don't know, I don't TikTok. And all these things, right? Oh my God, we gotta have it fucking right now. Instant gratification. That's probably why people sell them their souls to the devil. I just heard because they want what they want what everyone else has. For free. What do I mean by for free? Um without doing the work. And and doing the work is just looking at oneself with an open, honest mind. Oh my God, this person does this, you know, in my, um, in my instance. So my friend, the person I was working with before, you know, did what he does, you know, um, just, he's gone. So let's leave him that way. Oh, he'll be back. Maybe, maybe not. 
um, I would prefer him to stay the fuck away. <laughs> Save me from myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's through, you know, oh shit. I just have you sitting on my bed. So that threw a wrench in things, but did it though? Or did it set me on the right path? Now it's not going to fucking stand up. Great. See what you did? <laughs> Hold on. So when these, in, so set me on the right path. Because, you know, we already know things. And we try to um, skate, skate, you know, scoot around it. I'm just going to sidestep over here and try to do all these things. Um, and you know that these people, places, and things are not, that can't be there with you. It's not good for your soul. There's perfection in the pause if you use that time wisely to rest, to self-reflect, to take a good look at yourself and listening, getting the red flags and getting these things, but following through because if you don't, it will be done for you. And you might not like it that way. You can love people. It's not good for you. You can send them love or don't send anything. Whatever you feel is right for you. I don't know about you, but me, and it's fading, but in the back of my head, like I shot a video the other day, there was that part of me that was like, yes, fuck these motherfuckers that have done so much and too much. When are they going to get theirs? Why do I get tower after tower? Part of your growth. If you're a teacher and you're meant and you consider yourself a, a healer, a 144, a chosen and blah, blah, all that bullshit. I'm, I'm not saying it's all bullshit, but I'm just saying uh, for me, in my opinion, Oh, you're chosen, so go do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not going to get in it. I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> um, if you consider yourself a way show or anything like that, especially a teacher, a leader, It's like being a boss at a job. Shouldn't you know every aspect of the people that work under you and their jobs? The best employer, don't you think, or best manager would be one that can do everything underneath them. Are you a teacher? Are you a way shower? Are you a 144? Are you a chosen? Well, then... The world is shit. But it's also beautiful. Perfectly designed. So then maybe you must go, not maybe, but I don't know. But you can believe whatever you want. This is my belief. This uh, My journey is all I know. <clears throat> Unless otherwise told. Um, my fucking foot is asleep. You might fall over again if I move. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. 
Um, what better way, you know, so then you're the CEO, right? The president. The teacher. The healer. The mother, the maiden. The clone. Wouldn't it be maiden, mother, clone? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about that stuff, but... Um... So every time I'm on here speaking, everything that is heard, everything I say, it all has something to do for somebody. Um, you better study because there will be a test. <laughs> like being in school. You learn from the books. Okay, your book is called Your Life. And your humans playing out all these scenarios for you to get it, for you to learn, for you to move on, for you to ascend and help others along the way. This is all, you know. Um, I love you guys. great day we need to buy seeds to grow food non-gmo seeds get them from a seed bank from a seed savers or somewhere make sure it's non-gmo so from the food you eat you can grow more food Okay. Foraging. Maybe learn that. Uh, sanitation and filtrate, water filtration. Learn that. Get healthy. Eat less. Ride a bicycle. Walk a lot. Eat less. Condition your body. You're human now. I heard before it's too late. Whatever. Um, you like my on-air sign? Anyway. Pay attention to human when you eat food. If you eat fresh fruits and vegetables, how does your body feel? And then mentally and emotionally, how do you feel? More awake, more alive. You want to feel alive, eat things that are alive. And uh, the only one that's going to get you out of here and the only one that's going to get you to a thousand years of peace on earth, a millennia, is to die to self while you're still alive. And you know what? It sounds horrible, right? But it's the most freeing, amazing thing ever. Because you could sit wherever you're at and feel like a king or queen. And you could feel like you're the most blessed person in the world because you know what? You broke free. Yep, till you come up to another gate, compound or whatever, and then you'll break free out of that one. Nothing can keep you captive. You're an escape artist. You're an alchemist. You're magical. Hell, what's in your human is a part of the God source. Creator of all things. It wants to be free. Anyway, ciao, y'all. Ciao. Have a great day. I got something I want to make. So I have to go to the store and buy some new things.
because I love to talk to my water. Don't forget, we're like 80, 86% water. I don't know, look it up. My whole life I heard we're 70. And then I, um, anyway. Is it Dr. Emoto? Masari or Masari Emoto? E M O? I don't know. He did the water molecule or part of whatever. Um, things that showed just with um, either just the energy of our words and, and of our words, because words, you can write words on something and it's the energy and vibration and frequency of those words. Look it up, please, because it's a beautiful snowflake. When you say thank you, when you have love and gratitude and, and when you speak all the things of love, which is God, They're beautiful little snowflakes. I mean, they're beautiful. Other than that, it's just like a blob. That's why they say about self-talk and how you, what you say, even in joking or anything you say, especially if you use I am. I am. You are speaking life or death into your life, into your own life, and those around you, into the world, because it's all energy can never be destroyed it can be transferred it's always ever flowing i heard it's always going somewhere i just heard fake it till you make it <laughs> that's funny detox your body eat less These things that fuel and actually feed your human good things. Turn off your phone. Get out of social media a little bit. Sit with yourself. If you only have time to yourself, say, driving to work or something, do that. When you're stopped at a stoplight, you can take a few moments to breathe, to go within, to, to, know, to get your discernment about things in your life. Be quiet. The mind and, and around you. Get out in nature. If you're always distracted, how can you ever go within and learn? You can't see, feel, hear anything other than what's in front of your face. A fuckery. It's stupid bullshit. Love you. Have a blessed day. Namaste love. Namaste peace. Namaste right here on this path. Until it's time to ascend. Peace be with you. Ciao.